yeah so hi uh, in this video we will learn uh, how to record a macro and how we can use in our uh, program so let's say uh, so for record macro is available in uh, like you have to go for developer tab so you will you will have a record macro option so the record macro option it will record whatever the work you are doing inside the uh, worksheet or workbook so it will record everything and later you can uh, assign it to any button or any program to run it so let's make some uh, uh, program and we'll understand how it will work so first i will start with the record macro so just have to click record macro so here you have to uh, like rename so that uh, you can identify easily so i'm just giving uh, name record so okay and here you can do, give description of that thing okay and click okay once it is done so now whatever the things you are doing it will be recorded okay so let's say yeah so it started already uh, to record okay so let's click the view for So it's already recording whatever the things I'm doing here uh, length and width of the work book, work everything it will record okay so if I'm clicking it will record everything here let's say okay so let's say we have uh, uh, set a number of row just to start with set a number of columns okay so okay so it's coming here okay so let's say i want to hide the uh, row c and c and d okay i'll just go here and hide okay so it is uh, column c to e select and hide okay but i don't want other things to be here i'll delete all these items and then uh, here again i will go and hide okay and then i will st stop recording okay so here after that so here insert you will have uh, options to insert buttons and various other uh, uh, combo box tick box and uh, spin button you have a lot of uh, list box so for my current use i will take button okay let's say button okay so macro name so here it's already there i'll select i will assign this directly okay and here I'll just uh, make it as a hide. Okay, that's my command. And I'll stop this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is my hide button, and I've uh, have uh, assigned program record here okay so yeah column okay this i will copy it i'll make it as another program record on hide here i will paste this false okay yeah so this is the select that is b2f Select selection dot enter column dot hidden. So this is my program. So I have assigned already this program. Hide this one. This I, if you want, you can change this as well. Hide and unhide, and you can reassign. Hide. Okay. So once you click, before doing that, you have to stop recording here. Stop recording. Press it will be keep on recording. You have to go here in developer and then you have to stop it okay so i've already assigned a hide so if i click then it's working now so i'm hiding this okay similarly i'll just uh, take another button i'll put it here i'll assign unhide okay and here i can just uh, make it as 
height so you can make a little more customization as per your requirement okay and here i will go and i think it's already assigned to unheight so it's showing here so it's fine so it should work so with this b and f is if you done b to f and it is unheight now so in future uh, let's say if you want to hide g as well so you don't need to record macro so here you can go column c to e it is now uh, i want to hide but i want i will extend it to g okay and then here also unhide also i'll do the same okay so hide so it's got it done and unhide it shows so this is how you can make a small little customization as per your requirement in a similar way we can record others other uh, uh, other macro as well so which we can use in our uh, daily work so this is more useful when we have uh, like a repetitive work so that time it will be very useful so and i will show you some how to write a small macro and how to interpolate so before that i will just show you another property that is hide so here if you go for format control so you can change the text or oh, what is the text uh, type you want whether you want bold size everything you can customize here and also you can uh, customize the like background color or text color that you can change just to make it look better uh, like similar to um, uh, this button we have another button called that is called command button so command button like uh, so in command button you cannot assign a program from modules so for command button the program should be in the sheet here also inside the sheet for particular sheet we can have uh, like how many sheet we create based, uh, based on that number of uh, like mac objects or uh, like excel objects will also get created so let's see here like i will add another sheet 3 and it will get added here so here you can write program but it is limited only to that particular sheet if anything uh, if any work is going on inside the sheet that only it will be it will work so command button we can use only for one sheet like the program is in sheet one and the command button should be in sheet one so that it will work otherwise it will not work so by a normal button you can just uh, make a general program module and you can insert in any sheet and you can assign program which which is written in module but if you have anything written in sheet that you cannot use it in other sheets okay yeah so let's write a small okay small uh, macro sub okay xxx okay this is a program so for this i'll show you today how to use for loop okay okay for i for i equals one two Hundred. Okay, price go to one to hundred. So sales, sales. This is a row. It is showing row and column index. Okay, row. What is row? I will give it as I, comma one. Column is one. Okay. dot value equals value equals i'll call it as i okay then okay then next i okay so for 1 to 100 so you show value from i row 1 to column one so row is one and row is uh, like increment i'm giving in row and uh, column it remains same column is only one column so it will create a um, program so it will create a uh, values with one to hundred in first column okay so let's say so what i will do i'll create another insert on button okay 
So we'll assign this. One two hundred. Okay. Okay. Let's try this out. So I've already assigned. Uh, okay. Assign macro. Okay, it's already assigned. Okay. See, it's one to hundred. The values created. Okay. This is a single uh, loop. Similarly, you can add the for for j equals one to hundred. Okay. One to hundred. So this value increment row column is also increment. It will get increased. Then next j. Okay. So let's see how. It, okay. So actually, first should be j. And so when you're debugging, you will get to know uh, what are the mistakes. So just correct it. So you can see here and how this works. Okay. And uh, yeah. I'll just clear this out okay and I will explain how this will happen okay so let's say let's debug so you can use a fake button to debug okay otherwise you can put a stop button so then you can when you press it will stop here okay then okay so let's say this is the program now it started debug step in so let's see i i is the land with value of one so okay sorry j is not there there is a reason showing error so it should be one okay let's go again yeah debug step into okay so i which has a value one so now cell if it's Sorry. Okay, cell one comma one. So it should value with one. Okay, so now it is going. So now in one comma one, the so row and column one, the value assigned is one. Okay, so let's say I will multiply this with hundred. Okay, debug. For the next cell, I will get 200. Step. Okay. Yeah. So the next step, I got 200. So since it stopped, yeah. So I'll remove this and I'll run. So it is it's updated with all all the values. So here you can make whatever the values you want, and you can run and you can check. Yeah, so it gives value based on that, and it's for for loop for loop is uh, very simple and very easy to use, unlike uh, C and other language. So the script is very easy easy to use and very easy to understand. So try this out, and just how you can do is just open the system and follow the instruction which I'm giving. I think it should be easy. Uh, in uh, online, you can find a uh, lot of other material as well. Yeah, let's try it out and share your feedback. Thank you.